Hi everyone, welcome back to The Sims 4. It's me, Summer Hills, and we are back building with the Sims 4 High School pack. And this is part two of my high school build. So it's a British school, and this episode is going to focus on furnishing the build that I built in the first episode. Um, so the, it, it is mainly focusing on the interior. I've done a lot of the landscaping. Um, so yeah, we're just, we're just going to carry on where we left off on the, the last video. And we're going to furnish the grand hall, the main hall, hall um, and then we will do some of the classrooms the classrooms I've done pretty basic um, but I've put some posters on the walls and um, just so that you kind of can say that's a certain subject so I've put like a map in the geography room some history posters in that room um, and just tried to make the rooms individual there is one that's just like got a picture on the back wall just it's a really basic classroom so it could be anything um, and then I've done individual rooms, so we've got an art room, we've got a computer room, we have a science room, a library, a sports hall, um, I've tried to fit as much in there as I can, and we've also got a staff room. Um, so yeah, we've, we've got quite a lot going on in this build. Um, like I said, this hall could be refurnished, I've done it as close to as how I remember it at school, but obviously a lot of this is kind of unusable space just because it's just chairs and you wouldn't have that many sims just sat watching a speech so I thought I'll furnish it the way it was but you could reuse this so like I say it'd be a perfect room for proms because it is quite um, a grand room or you could make it the school cafeteria you, you could do whatever you want with it you could refurnish it I know it's not really it's not kind of the best use of space for the sims because this it wouldn't be used like this in game um but i was trying to do it as the school was so i suppose depending on how you wanted to play the game or what you wanted to do with it you just refurnish it as you would want to i mean you could put some chess tables at the top <laughs> i don't know you could put anything in there um but yeah i just wanted to furnish it as the school was but definitely just redecorate it to if you if you do want to download it just redecorate it to how you would want to use it in the game um so yeah i i just thought i remember the the big long drapes i think there was a bit more fancy than these ones but these was the closest match that i could get to what what i wanted it to look like i thought i thought it still looked pretty good i did want like quite a fancy chandelier but i think we're quite limited with the ones that we've got in the game so i just used like the big candelabra that we've got um i just thought it was probably because because it's not like a really modern build so some of the chandeliers that we've got are, are a bit too modern for this build um even though i really liked them i just thought they, they just didn't fit in with the style of the building so i didn't use them so i went for the, like the candelabra um but i do wish we had a few more chandeliers that was a bit more not candles you know like the lights that look like candelabras but they've got lights in them rather than candles i wish we had some more like that um yeah so anyway onto the classrooms and we've got the the new desks um i think these chairs are from the new pack as well uh, the whiteboard you have to have a whiteboard in the classroom um it's part of the like the things that you have to have to make it a school um but when i went to school it was like roller chalkboard so it was like a chalkboard on the wall but then you rolled it up and then there was another chalkboard beneath it <laughs> so really old-fashioned um but we don't have anything like that i wish we did they, they would be really cool um or like a chalkboard that sat on the wall as well that that would be like a good alternative um but anyway i've gone with the whiteboards that we got in the game um they were probably a bit too modern for the, the school i went to um they might have changed that i know they do have whiteboards but there was there was like they had newer buildings added on to this as well and um, some separate buildings they had like the more modern whiteboards and things like that um but yeah, it was it was quite dated. <laughs> we had the, the the roller chalkboards were, yeah, something else. People would roll them up and then write things on them, and then when the teachers would move them, they would have things written on that shouldn't have been on there, and it was just wild. <laughs> that was that was the fun before mobile phones, I think. Um, so yeah, the the hallway. I think the green I had originally was closer to 
the green tiles that we had on the wall um, but it was like half green and half white so I've gone with the newer wallpaper that we got with the high school pack although the green in that it's like a greeny blue turquoise colour um, it's not really the same as what we have but we can't swatch the colours so I thought well it is half and half and I wanted to use the new stuff some of it some of it just didn't fit in with this build um, so I did I did use the new wallpaper. Also, I've, I've used the principal's test. That's another thing that you have to use. I've never been in the principal's office, so I didn't really know what it looked like. But I thought, well, you would have chairs for if a parent has to come in or if a child's in trouble. So I put a couple of chairs in there, the desk, and just decorated it with some certificates. Um, just kept it really simple. And then at the other side of the main entrance is the reception, which is where visitors would come in and then they could sign in or if, you know, it's where you went to pick up your grids as well. Um, so I put a load of filing cabinets in the other side just because I think you'd have to have somewhere where you have details of all the pupils. Um, so yeah, we've got the principal's office and the main reception. Um, I've only put one chair in there because it's quite a small room. I know proportionally it's not right to how it was, but I wanted to get the proportions of the outside of the school right, which meant the room size is just, it wouldn't quite work. So um, yeah, I've gone for, I've gone for more of a, to get it right from the outside and then I've worked with what I had in the inside and um, so the reception's a bit smaller than it really should be but and also it had like a little room off it as well where there was a little nurse's area um, and I couldn't fit that in so um, I've just made a little reception where there's you know files for all the kids that go there added some <laughs> fire exit signs <laughs> everywhere um, and yeah I just I was just kind of rejigging the the classroom because it didn't look like there was much of a walkway so I decided to do the desks in two halves um, we didn't really have individual desks we, we had like longer desks um, like a table that would fit two on and you'd have rows of them um, so we didn't have these individual desks but I thought I'll use the ones from the pack anyway um, and I've tried to go with the wooden colours that would have. This is the science room. I wish we had some more swatches of these desks so that the items were in different places just so it didn't look like the same on every desk but um, yeah we, we haven't really got much in terms of sciencey tables so I, I just decided to use them um, <clears throat> and make the teachers desk different so at least one of them was different because <laughs> yeah I just I just thought mm, it, it's difficult when you really want to make like themed rooms you're limited to what we've got in the packs so yeah I wish we did have some more desks with different science stuff on that would be really cool I suppose you could get a desk and then use debug objects but it would take such a long time so I've gone with the desks that we've got uh, the science desks that we've got and then just reused it <laughs> I know it does look a bit samey but again if you didn't like that you could just change it out um, and then I've just copied the rooms from downstairs for the classrooms upstairs because I just thought it's it's quicker and basically then we've got the the same size rooms as well this is a staff room um, it was where the staff room was I think when I went to school so I thought I'll keep that in the same place and I don't know what a staff room would look like but I presume they'd have coffee <laughs> they would have like staff trays where they have notes and things um, and a seating area and somewhere to maybe eat some food so they're the main things that I've put in this room I have tried to make it a little bit more colourful as well um, I think the staff probably would need somewhere to chill out after teaching a load of kids I can't imagine it's easy so I've given them quite a nice staff room um, and oh you can see me messing about with the platforms because when you build a wall and you've you've already got the platform it can change the height of the room and I didn't realize until I was putting objects in that some of the room heights had changed so yeah it's something to be aware of if you're building with platforms it can be um you you, you don't always realize that the rooms have changed heights until you start trying to put objects down so 
they are a little bit glitchy I think but we, you know, I made it work. <laughs> I made it work the best I could. So this is just a little island so that they can have a coffee bit. I did add a sink later on as well for them um, so that they can wash their dishes. And um, and then I did clutter up the um, the little staff um, cubby holes, you know, like where they get their meal and things like that. Um, so, yeah, I think the staff room turned out really cute. Um, probably a bit more modern than the rest of the building so they've probably got the nicest room out of all of it but um, yeah they pro probably deserve it after looking after all the kids um, so this room I decided to make the sports hall um, and what I've done is I was going to use it as like a cheerleading practice room but I decided to put the basketball courts down I did have to resize them slightly to fit in this room um, but you could always put a cheerleading mat over it if you wanted to use it for that. I just thought I'll put the basics down so you knew it was a sports hall. But you could you could put the you could put the cheerleading mats over that if you wanted to use it for that as well. Because I guess with a cheerleading mat you could roll it up and then only put it down when it's been used. And that was kind of my idea for this room. Um, I just thought you don't need the cheerleading mat out all the time so yeah I think it's alright just leaving it with the basketball courts and then just putting a mat down when you want to use it so that was my idea for the room I know it's probably only, I, I don't know it depends how you want to play the game I think if you just want to do the high school things you may want to get rid of the basketball court but I wanted to keep it looking like a sports hall which I thought with just the cheerleading mat it looks a bit empty and it didn't really fill the space properly that's why I went with the the basketball court instead I also swapped out the um because I originally I used like the bistro set thing for the cafeteria so I swapped it out for the one that we got in the high school pack and um, this is the art room I think this has turned out really cute I actually really like this room um this this is one of my favorite rooms in the building and um, we got some kind of like little statues and stuff um, so I used one of them as like a focal point of what the teenagers could be painting. Um, I was looking for different different things I could put together, um, but actually with the new pack we got some. I just I just went really fun with this room, and I've put like the characters on the wall. Um, yeah, I thought why not make it a really colourful fun room? It, it's art, so it should be it should be a fun room. Um, I did. It, I really wanted to get this rainbow in as well, but it didn't fit in this room. It's not the biggest. It's not the biggest space, I suppose, for art. But um, I think I fit, I fit quite a bit in it, considering it's not the biggest room. Um, and also, I've just cluttered up some of the the art um, trays as well with different items, so that they didn't all look generic. Um, so yeah, I've just put different things on them, and then. Um, fill, yeah, just I think this room is it's been filled out and it looks yeah it looks really cute. And um, so I went with this little figurine because I just think it it actually goes with the characters at the background as well. So I thought that one was really perfect for that room. Um, and then this is the music room. So we have got I I remember having like loads of keyboards when I was at school in the music room. So I thought we'll go with the keyboards and then. I added a few other instruments as well um, but yeah it's mainly like a keyboard area um, where the kids can practice music and then there is some there's some desks in the middle so I suppose if you wanted to compose some music you wanted to write some music you've got an area to do that and then you can see we've got some guitars so it is quite filled out I've gone with the green again just to filter back into the colour scheme of the school because uh, there was the green hallways <laughs> I do wish we had a deeper green for that wallpaper in the hallway though because that would have been perfect um, so if we'd have had like a, um, like a grassy green for that for that wallpaper that would have been perfect um, and yeah I would have been so happy because that would have been like the colour we had at school um, but yeah I've gone with I've gone with that just because we've got the green and the white then um, so then I just added this as decoration I don't think you'd be able to use it because I've, I've lifted it up and um, so we've got the violin as decoration and just a couple of little um, 
decoration items which finishes the music room off and then this room is the computer room I think most of the things in this room are base game. The wallpaper is from the new pack, uh, the high school pack, and then I think the desks are base game and then the computer's base game. Um, the chairs are from the new pack. I've, I've gone with the green again. I think these are probably a, a bit modern, um, but we didn't have anything really like um, what I kind of wanted. I just wanted like a really plain looking computer chair. Um, but yeah, I, th I thought these at least go with the colour theme of the school. And then I thought the, the IT teacher would have maybe a posher chair. So I've gone with the nicest computer chair for them. Um, and just added a few, um, what could be like computer books or coding books or something like that. Um, and just a couple of decorations in here. So quite a, a simple room. Um, I suppose, I think this one would be used even in gameplay though. Because, you know, if, if they're on... A break between lessons or whatever they could use the computers um so at least it's a usable room um i don't know if they yeah i don't know which rooms they'd use more i know the science one's only really for decoration but i did think it was it was good to have one um so yeah this is the library so it's quite a grand library um and i kind of went for this turquoise color for the bookshelves which i thought was it's a nice contrast with the white as well. Although I do change the colour of the flooring. I thought it was a bit too much. Um, so yeah, I do make the flooring darker later on. And then I wanted like a comfy seating area and a few computers in the library as well. Because I, I do remember there was some computers. Although there was really basic. Because um, I went to, like I left school in the, just before the millennium. <laughs> so yeah, it was a while ago. Um so yeah the computers they're probably a lot more modern now but yeah i went with the basic computers again and just had this this area of study and then you've got like the relaxing area where you can read a book and then you've got the books in the in the library um i think it's quite grand for a school i think it's got quite a lot in for the size of the room as well um so i was trying to add a bit of pop of color but i actually thought it worked better just changing the color of the floor because the the white was too much um and i can't really remember what the floor was like <laughs> to be honest in the library i do know it was quite a grand room though so i've, tr I've tried to encapture that um but yeah, I think some of the new items we've got are really, really nice in here. Um, and then, yeah, I think it all kind of gels together. We've got the, the greens and the blues and yeah, I think it goes really nicely together. So I'm really pleased with the way the library turned out. And I think the build overall is pretty much what I was going for. I've had to alter where some rooms were just because of the scale of the when you scale it down it doesn't quite work but yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy overall there's a couple of things I wish I'd have changed and um, there is a, a wall on the outside actually it's half wall and I've only just noticed that the paint has been removed at some point because I did put brick paint on it so if you do download this build there is one where it is just it's not painted it's half wall just at the back as you're going out one of the doors and um, so you can just repaint it if you want you can leave it. it it's up to you or you can delete the wall um but yeah the paint has come off and i've not noticed so um just a little detail there um but yeah i've, I've got a little desk in the library so you could have a librarian and yeah you could check books out <laughs> um i know it's not going to work in game like that but that was my idea um, I wanted to make it as realistic as possible and there's some magazines um, so yeah uh, we're nearly at the end of the build I hope you've enjoyed it um, please let me know what you think of it um, it's as close as I could get it um, other people might do a better job but it's as close as I could get it and it is um, it is an actual British school <laughs> it's based on a British school that I went to and it is still a school actually um, this is the lockers down below with the the toilets as well and um, so we're going to get some screenshots at the end so you can see um a little bit more clearly some of the rooms and yeah i hope you've enjoyed it i've really enjoyed being back building in the sims 4 so hopefully i'll get a few more builds as i say for gameplay i'm waiting for some bug fixes before i get into that but yeah i'll be back building again soon take care everyone i hope you have a great week i'll speak to you soon bye